Okay, I you normally don't get nervous, but you're making me nervous. <laughs> you're freaking, like, smack me or something. <laughs> Hey guys, it is John Cochran and today it is System Saturday and what I want to go through and do on today's System Saturday is I want to go ahead and I want to give you something. I want to go ahead and you don't have to pay for this, you don't have to opt in, you don't have to do anything for this. Um, but I want to go through and I want to give you a selling deal analyzer. But first before I go ahead and I show you the selling deal analyzer, I want to go through and show you why I went ahead and created this. Okay, so um, why I went ahead and I created a selling deal analyzer in my business is because Quite frankly, I got sick of sending, you know, I got sick of doing deals. Maybe I was a, a realtor on the deal, or maybe I was a, uh, a real estate investor where I was uh, buying a property and then I was flipping that property and whatnot. Well, the problem that I ran into, whenever I would go ahead and I would do a deal, you know, I owned a property and then I was getting ready to sell that property. I had it sold under contract, and I kind of had in what my head was that um, really what my profit check would be. So maybe I thought my profit check would be about fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars something like that. But then whenever it got down to the, you know, the, the closing time when I got my check, you know, that $15,000 check very quickly turned into a $9,000 check. And uh, quite frankly, I went through and uh, I, I sent out a lot of emails, nasty emails to title companies and blaming everybody else. You know, really because uh, my math was wrong. Because $15,000 and I get a check for $9,000, I can't blame myself, right? I mean, hell. So, uh, what I ended up doing, guys, is I ended up creating what's called a selling deal analyzer. And it's very, very simple. Uh, what this selling deal analyzer does is as soon as you go ahead and you get a con uh, contract on a home that you are selling, um, it doesn't really matter if you're a realtor or a real estate investor, it, it works for either one. Um, it will tell you what your profit is going to be, and it's very, very accurate. So, forget about the you know, you're going to start making $15,000 and then all of a sudden it's going to be a $9,000 check. I've got this so honed in that it's going to be right around 100 bucks. Okay, it's never going to be perfect. It'll never be perfect because of property taxes and the credits that you do with property taxes. But, you know, if you can get it within that, then you don't have to send out all the emails out in all caps all to the uh, the title companies and the other realtors bitching and complaining why you didn't make is what, what you thought that you are going to make. So, so what I want to do, guys, is I want to show you real quick right here. I want to show you how in the world uh, to go ahead and use this. And what, what we're going to do is below this video is you're going to be able to go ahead and just download this uh, selling deal analyzer so that you can use this in your own business as well. So uh, check this out. I'm going to go ahead and um, get into this. And here we go. Okay, so here is the selling deal analyzer. Here it is. So um, it's very, very simple. All you have to go through and do is uh, just put in the the, uh, the property address that you are selling. Now, keep in mind, this is a selling deal analyzer. This is not a deal analyzer whenever you are buying a home or anything like that. This is a deal analyzer whenever you are selling a home, okay? Um, so uh, just I'm just going to keep this in just for this video is 123 Main Street. What type of property is it? Single family home, whatnot. The buyer's agent name on this. So who in the world is uh, bringing the buyer to me on this property or who is representing the buyer? Let's go ahead and put uh, my, my nickname, um, Dougie Fresh. I don't even know if I'm spelling that right. Dougie Fresh. You know I'm Dougie Fresh. Um, and then also, I'm going to go through and uh, put, the, put in today's date. So uh, just put in whatever today's date is. Do they even have 31 days in um, February? Probably not. It happened. Um, all right, so cool. So uh, what you want to go through and do from there is what is the purchase price that they are offering. So remember, selling deal analyzer. What is the buyer paying for this property? So let's just go ahead and say that they are writing a contract on this property and they are willing to go ahead and pay $112,000 for it. That's what they are offering Johnny C on this deal. Now, I own this property, so what do I have in it? How much uh, do I have involved with this total property? So how much do I have in it completely? So um, it better not be $112,000 by any means. So how much do I owe on this property? I'm going to go ahead and say 84,000. So I owe 84 grand on this home. That's what I have in it. Maybe it's a HUD deal that I flipped, maybe it whatever. Okay, but I've got $84,000 in this deal and they offered me 112,000. So you can see the spread right there. 
Now, I only have to go ahead and enter in all these fields, and it's going to pre-populate everything for me, uh, which you're getting ready to see. Um, now, remember, I'm the seller on this deal. Now, how, how much am I going to go ahead and give the realtor? So um, we did this in two different ways, just simply because we do this in two different ways in our business. So you can either pay them a flat fee of either a 3% or, or I'm sorry, you can either pay them a, a, a percentage or you can pay them a flat fee. So in this case, uh, we'll just go through and put that we're paying them 3%. If we wanted to pay them, uh, you know, maybe 1250 bucks or something like that, rather than a 3%, we would just simply enter in $1,250 in there and then put the percent of the realtor commission in there as zero. Okay, but I'm going to change this back. We'll pay them 3% and then give them zero for a flat fee uh, commission. Then you need to know what the property taxes are. If you do not know what the property taxes are on your own home, um, you probably need to go get checked to a doctor right now. Um, or you can go ahead and go to the uh, county auditor site, which might be a little bit quicker than going to the doctor. Um, so what you should go through and do is put in the um, property taxes annualized. Okay, so how much is the property taxes per year, not per six months? Um, right there and then also the closing month and number now what this means is that if, if say today is February and but they are wanting to close in say March uh, all you need to go through and do is put in number three so obviously January is one February is two um, June is six um, December would be 12 so whatever date that they are wanting to close uh, you go ahead and put this in right here so just say they want to go ahead and close and um, March which would be month number three uh, proration type of taxes this will always be long for you uh, we just do something weird in Ohio because uh, this is the vacation capital of the world we do things a little bit differently than some uh, you know states do but you will always want to go ahead and keep long in here which means that you're gonna credit them for all the taxes um, basically for that year uh, depending on what day it is that they're closed okay uh, owner's title insurance, we always pay for owner's title insurance. You don't have to. Uh, you can uh, go ahead and zero this out if you would like, but uh, I'm going to go through and put that back in um, for that. And then buyer paid uh, closing costs. If you have to end, end the contract, if you have to pay any of their closing costs, maybe they're getting a loan, you have to pay any of their closing costs, that would go right in, right in here. Then maybe any uh, miscellaneous expenses that you would put in right here. So maybe... Um, you know, just any miscellaneous expenses. Maybe some, uh, you know, addendum comes up and then you have to pay something on that happened on the property inspection or something like that that you didn't really take account for. You could go through and put that uh, right here. Um, so that would go into the miscellaneous expenses. So maybe, you know, they dinged me on the uh, uh, property uh, inspection and they got me for 350 bucks, whatever. Great. So it happens very quickly, guys. Uh, you, you can literally go through and do this in, in, in a minute or less. Um, just by knowing all these figures so once you have all these figures all you have to do is just go ahead and, and just scroll down and it's going to calculate all this stuff right down here automatically that you don't have to go through and do this is a selling analysis of this the commission that's coming out that you're paying which is uh, the three percent of the, the 112,000 because that's what we said is all this calculations I end up going ahead and, and calculating down in right here so the total fees involved with this deal is going to be right around five grand, so it's four thousand nine hundred sixty-three dollars and fifty cents, which tells me that if I paid cash for this home and I have zero loan on it, I should expect a check at closing for around one hundred and seven thousand thirty-six dollars and fifty cents, and then my net profit is going to be twenty-three grand. Okay, so twenty-three thousand thirty-six dollars and fifty cents. Now we use this deal, uh, selling deal analyzer not just when we are going through and trying to find out if what our profit's going to be once we already get into a deal. Whenever people will go through and uh, write contracts on our home and maybe we're considering taking those offers, we will go through and put it into the de selling deal analyzer to make sure that our numbers make sense before we go forward on that offer. Because, you know, you might think that, you know, the, the offer is just bad, terrible, this and that. But in all reality, once you see it on paper and you see what your profit's going to be, um, it might not be that bad. So you can use this as a realtor or a real estate investor. You can give this to all of your clients if you're a realtor um, so that you can kind of give them a, a brief synopsis of what, what is happening, um, you know, what, what, what to expect at closing. Or you can go ahead and um, you know, do this as a real estate investor, find out exactly what your profit's going to be. So it doesn't really matter. So guys, what I want you to do is I want you to go through and comment. What do you think of these system Saturdays? Uh, comment below. What do you think of these system Saturdays? 
what do you think of me giving you a tool that that really just tells you what you're going to make on every single deal so that you know if you're getting into a good deal or a bad deal. Um, so what do you think of that as well? And uh, go ahead and download it below. It'll be right below. So uh, always know that I appreciate you, and I will see you next week on the System Saturday. See you guys.